Hello everyone out there. Welcome back to Studio Tamara, the Mystical Paintress. Um, today is the pink moon of April. It's the full moon and um, I have done a couple bunny paintings in the past and I'm going to do another one today. I'm going to paint this little bunny. But first I want to give a shout out to all of the people out there that work at salons doing pedicures, cutting hair, making America beautiful. Thank you, you're appreciated. Um, no matter what the job is, fast food restaurant, post office, an attorney, a lawyer, a doctor, we are all equal, we're all important, and I wanted to say thank you. So um, on today, the pink full moon, and they call it that, um, <clears throat> because it has a moss pink color, kind of like the wild ground phlox, um, which is one of the first spring flowers. And, that information is in the Farmer's Almanac, if you don't have one. Um, so I am just going to do a real quick little painting demo video in case you want to learn how to paint a bunny. Straight on. This bunny comes from my friend Alexandra. Mini Art in the Home is her Etsy shop. She rescues bunnies from all over, hundreds and hundreds of bunnies. And if they don't make it, she does beautiful taxidermy um, sculptures and, and mounts and art and beautiful things and sells them and uses that money to continue her rescue going because it's nonprofit obviously. So we are going to get started and um, I'm hoping you guys can see okay I might want to move you in a little closer but so I'm going to not use a whole bunch of colors and um, I'm just going to set my bunny here Oh, this is going to be tricky. Isn't this fun? And I'm going to take, I'm going to just try to get the essence, the outside line, like a gesture of this little fella's face. So there's some fur, top of the head. This little ear kind of does this comes down like this and then his forehead is like here oh he's so damn cute I named this one Penelope I call her Penelope I love her she's beautiful I hear the red-winged blackbirds are back I see one right out my window here which tells me it's spring Usually right around Mother's Day time is when the hummingbirds and the red-winged or the red-breasted grosbeaks come back to this area. Um, uh, see how I am doing this little bunny here. Very, it's just a methodical process of Just kind of look, paint, look, paint, look, paint. This goes like this, and then out here, need a little more turp. Out here, if you guys want to follow along step by step, this is your chance. Uh, this is dark. And he's, isn't this fun? Just paint a cute little bunny on a nice little day. It's a full moon. You know, I've been thinking almost I wanted to do some more abstract kind of uh, paintings of animals and people and stuff. So this is cool. This may be the beginning of something big. Okay. My birds are out there saying, fill the feeder, lady, fill the feeder. Okay, so this little buddy. Well, I'm being kind of fearless here with the way that I'm painting this guy. I'm not even sure his nose is up there, but might be down here. It's kind of hard to tell. He's got a lot of fur. Okay, 
here's something cool that you can do if you screw up in an oil painting, okay? So let's say you don't want this line right here. It's very easy. Dip a rag in some odorless mineral spirits or turp, and you can just wipe it right off. So like, for example, my little bunny here, His face is very narrow, so it's more like that. I mean, he's got fur here, fur. So you just squint and try to paint to the best of your ability, you know, wh whatever you see there. So like this is a little dark bunny, Easter bunny. Spring bunny. Mm. What is it like? Beltane, Beltane for the pagan community. So funny. All of the overlap between pagan and all the things borrowed from the pagans, modern religion. Okay. So we're getting there with this little fella. Isn't he fun? Oh, he's so much fun now. You start to put in a little monochromatic, which means one color, and add some values in here. Values mean light or dark. And add in some light and dark. You can't screw it up. Oil paint's a beautiful thing. It can always be so you can't you can't screw it up so I wanna, I'm gonna mimic this guy now I'm gonna start to add a little bit of color I'm using a little bit of ochre a little burnt sienna and I'm gonna just start to add a little bit of color not a lot just a little you know color can be overdone too you can do too much I mean sometimes when people do too much color it takes away from the authenticity of it. So uh, little bunny. The one I'm painting isn't quite as fluffy simply because um, it's not really the effect that I want. I more want to just capture the the movement of of this bunny's the way that he looks. I'm going to keep him very impressionistic. I'm going to use very light um, colors, Naples and pink and white, and just keep him very impressionistic. I don't want a painting that looks like a photo. That's not what my intention is with this particular painting today. I want to keep it really impressionistic. Um, I just think it would be really cool to do a painting like so that's what I'm going to do. So let's see if it turns out. If it turns out, great. You got a winner. If it doesn't, you learn. You never lose. You win or you learn. Oh, I just love Naples, though. It's like one of my favorite colors. Okay, bunny poo poo. Oh, he's so damn cute. Look at him. I got this light coming in from behind that's really crazy bright from outside the window. Um, so that's kind of a second layer of stuff I got going on too. All right, so you got to look at things when you're painting them. You just got to constantly look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. Compare it. All the things going through your mind. Oh my gosh, like, is this the right color? Is this the right value? Last year, I had bunnies out in my yard, and they were adorable. And I don't know if the cat got one of them or what happened, but I ended up, I went out and tried to make the nest um, more hidden and protected, you know, 
it's crazy to even try and do here because we're in the woods and we've got owls and we've got fox and we've got you know hawks and not to mention cats and dogs and stuff but anyway um I would go out there every day and check the bunnies and I would take carrots and celery to the mama and occasionally you know I'd find a little bunny little bunny fur somewhere because some critter got one of my bunnies and I was really broke broken hearted over that it really upset me I, <laughs> I don't want that to happen this year I don't want to have find bunnies that were attacked I don't like that so all right you see I'm adding a little purple um, just to give it a little bit of color there and I'm not going to overdo this guy because I really like how he's looking. You know, I'm gonna move you, I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closer. I hope this doesn't fall down because nothing is edited here, it's all real life. There, now you can see him. So here's the bunny, the bunny, bunny foo foo. And kind of cute, huh? He's cute. All right, so next. See, it's hard to put highlights unless you have, you really can't put highlights unless you have a dark background. So you can make as light as you like, as light as you want on one side, but you're not gonna see it unless it's dark behind it, which it's not here. So anyhow, I can put some highlights here, a little Naples, a little white, a little highlight there. I'm gonna add a little pink, just take some Artist Liberty, maybe even a little orange, just a little here. Oh my gosh, he's a cute little thing, isn't he? Um, such a cute bunny. But yeah, so this is really great fun. It's good practice. It's good practice for your eyes to just get you know, visual practice with, see, learning where to put things and placing it and stuff. Now, I'm at the point here, which is one of the hardest things for people to learn, is when to stop. And the reason is because you can overdo a painting so quickly um, and mess it up. And I don't want to do that. I, I kind of like this guy um, a lot and kind of like him even how he is. So if you're following along at home and you feel like, you know, you want to do a lot more to your bunny, by all means, you can do a lot more to your bunny. But I'm feeling like I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to do a lot more to my bunny. I mean, maybe I'll, maybe we'll fix this eye. Wee oh, wee oh. All right, you wanna see some cool tricks? I'll show you a cool trick. So take a brush, get all the stuff off of it, a little turp can. And then there's a little blue reflection on the bunny's eyelid on the bottom. Uh, right here, I see it. So I'm gonna suggest it in there. Just like that. Usually you get one chance to do that stuff. And then if you do any more after that, it screws it up. So, so there's that. And then his eye, like this. And there is a little dark up above. His ear comes in. So damn cute looking and oh just love this guy so much. Love bunnies. I just love them. Always have. Okay, and he's got a little fur here. You know, if I'm gonna make him this bunny, I just have to add a little bit. A little bit more. I think that's pretty cool, actually.
actually where he hit. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to have a bunch of, maybe put a little purple up here. Just for fun, why not? This one eye does have dark under it here. So we need to take a little dark. But you'll see how I'm losing my brush. I'm losing my brush strokes and all that's gone. He's getting mad. Oh, the bunny. Okay, he has a little highlight here. We're going to put that in right here. He's got a little highlight here. And he's got a little highlight here. I don't want to overwork this. I don't want to overwork it. I don't want to overwork this. I better stop now that I'm going to work on it. He's cute. Okay. So, another cool trick I want to show you guys. Put on my mystical Pinterest glasses. Um, another cool trick I want to show you is whiskers. Whiskers, you can use a palette knife. Palette knife is a really cool tool, but you do want to learn how to use it. you got to practice, practice, practice. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it in a little bit of black. You know what? I need some more gray. Do I have gray? Oh, I do. Okay, so I'm going to dip it in this violet gray color. And we're going to mix the black and the violet gray color together. And we're going to do some whiskers. So we mix, the reason we mix this is because light catches whiskers at different angles. So if it's solid black, it won't look real. But having the black and the purple will, will kind of give it a uh, dimensional look. So use a little bit of odorless turpentine, dip it in there. Isn't this fun? And then you just barely touch it. Barely touch it. Barely touch it. Boy, that's not, not even showing up. All right, let's try again. Okay, so we're going to barely touch it. Suggest, just suggest a couple. Boy, this palette knife is not working very well. Let's try again. Okay. There it is. There it is. See that? See the suggestion of the whiskers? There they are. And bunnies, they seem to have whiskers everywhere. So, okay, then let's say your whiskers are a little too much. You're not, you don't like them. There's too much. Okay, that's not a problem. What you would do is you can do one of two things. You can get one of these eraser type things, rubber eraser, or you can use a fresh clean brush and a fresh clean brush um, dry brush works good too but these eraser things will just did you see that they will just pick it up now if they don't pick up enough you can also use by the way a little palette knife to pick up stuff it's, it's hard because I'm not doing a studio painting or a show painting here I'm just trying to, to teach you guys some different um, techniques. So, there. And then, anytime you want something to look wispy, you push down, and at the edge, you lift up. So, but I don't know that I like that whisker. I think it might be a little bit too big. What do you think? Too thick. It's definitely too thick. So, I'm gonna. Probably 
erase it. There. There he is. Oh, bunny foo foo, nothing through the forest. Isn't he cute? Oh, I love that bunny. So here's kind of a modern, abstract, very loosely done bunny. He'd be really cute in a big silver frame. But there's a bunny. Happy full moon. See you next time. Bye.